Hey guys, Zach here. Been a long time. Been caught up with work and the holidays and uh, just getting stuck on Instagram. I'm pretty sure I blame Instagram every time I make a video now. Spending too much time on Instagram. But uh, I wanted to take a few minutes today and, and just give you some overview and some impressions of this uh, this new 4.7s Fellholter Tough Rider Bolt Light. So it's a, it's a mouthful. It's a three-way collaboration. Uh, light that's inspired after Brian Fellholter's bolt pen design, his bolt action pen design. Um, you can see that it's, uh, give you a nice look at it here. The, it's an aluminum body. Uh, you can tell if you're familiar with Brian's work that it's kind of inspired by uh, some of the design on his bolt pens, as well as it, it's actuated by this bolt action button here. So you can hold the button down and turn the light on or you can hold the button down and click it over and lock it in. Really cool little feature, really cool design. I'm really glad that uh, that they took a, took a chance on making a light that uh, operated with, uh, with this type of a switch, and I'll, and I'll tell you why here in a few minutes. But uh, before we get into it too much, I think this light here, it's been out since um, just about the first part of the year, so it's a relatively new light. I noticed them myself on Monkey Edge probably Oh, I'd say two months ago, um, but then they were sold out, and I ended up grabbing this one from the USN get-together here in Arizona. The Tough Rider people, if you're not, not familiar, are actually based here in Arizona, and they were there, and they had this light with them, and I got a chance to see it in person, and I, uh, I had to have it right there. So I picked one up from them, uh, Cash Direct, and uh, I've been carrying it now for about two weeks. Now, the light itself comes in uh, kind of a standard hard plastic packaging with a little box with some instructions. It's sort of a pen light. Now I actually picked this up because I lost my prion somewhere in one of my travels, one of my trips, um, and I needed a new kind of an EDC slash travel light to take with me that'd be easy to carry in pocket. So I was drawn to this one right away because it has a pocket clip. Um, it rides, uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, it rides right next to my um, knife in my knife pocket. Rides in there really well. It's fairly unobtrusive. Um, decent little, decent little carry. Now, it is actually much larger than most pen lights, and I'm going to show you some comparisons here in a little bit. But let's first talk about the specs on this guy. So some of the cool things about this light is, um, unlike most pen lights that run on triple A's or, or whatever smaller battery, double A's or triple A's, this guy actually runs on two CR2s. Um, they've become fairly common. Um, I have a whole stash of them as well as the CR123s here at the house for, uh, for my various different high-powered lights. But take a look at the specs here. You'll notice that uh, it has a low mode and a high mode, so 59 lumens and 490 on high, which is to me is very high for a for a night uh, for a uh, I almost said knife for a light of this size and this type of package so you get uh, eight hours at 59 lumens and you get an, just over an hour at high on 490 which high is amazing um, it also has a strobe mode and then a whole bunch of special outputs that I've kind of played around with a little bit you've got an SOS mode um, beacon high beacon low and moonlight mode um, and this, these instructions go into how you activate each one of those low modes. But for the standard modes, um, it operates just like any light, just like any most any of these tactical lights. Um, each button click will get you into a different mode. So you've got low, high, uh, high and then strobe. Low. It's getting kind of washed out by my camera here, but there is really a low and a high there being shown. Low, high, and strobe, the three standard modes, and each push of the button gets you, you know, if you quick push, you can get it into each mode as, uh, as you need. Um, so you don't actually have to lock the bolt over to, uh, to use the light. Just simply pushing it down, which I find to be very handy if I'm... Uh, I'm out back in the yard and I'm trying to dig around in the night at night I will often just push the button real quick or if you're just trying to in a self-defense situation quick flash somebody you can just hold the button down and let it go and uh, you know get that blinding effect so it's a very 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 cool little package now I hear these are going to be coming out in titanium at least that's the rumor 
Um, I'm sure they will be much more expensive than the standard Illumina version, which takes me to price. This currently runs, retails around $100, so it's not, you know, it's at the high end of what you might consider for, uh, for a pen light. Uh, yet, if you compare it to something like the uh, Surefire Backup or any of the sure, smaller Surefire lights, it's priced pretty well on par with those. Um, maybe even a little bit less, depending on which one you go with. Just a really, really cool design here. One of the bonuses to the um, having this bolt actuated light over the button, over a tail cap button, is at least myself, if I'm carrying a light in my pocket or in a bag, more often than not, my light ends up getting turned on um, with me being unaware and then running the battery down. And you could tell if you get one of these stuck on a high mode, of course, you're going to run the battery down really quick and then end up not having any light when you go to use it. Um, having this bolt action switch really, really helps that out a lot. I mean, I've, I've been carrying this around now, like I said, for two weeks, uh, which isn't a long time, but I've had zero issue with this button, this button um, actuation getting caught up and getting turned on on its own. It's literally, it's almost impossible for it to actually get pushed on and then clicked over into, lo into the lock position. And it's got a, quite a bit of tension. Not too much, but a decent amount of tension for pushing it down even, um, unlike your, you know, your tail cap. So I was drawn to it right away. One for, again, because I lost my Prion, and uh, two, I just really like this, uh, this type of a button. It seems like it, it's going to work out well for me. Now size, let's take you to size, I'll stop rambling here. Um, of course, when I first saw these online, <laughs> I was thinking it would be along the lines of the, you know, the Fellholter, uh, pens, you know, it'd be around that size, uh, which would make a good replacement for my Prion. However, once I saw it and got it in person, you could see that it's actually quite large compared to a normal pen light. So I, I almost wouldn't even call it a pen light. Um, I'd call it maybe a medium size or small size um, light. You could see that the comparison with my Surefire backup, that it's fairly big around if you're familiar with the Surefire lights, as well as it's uh, actually quite a bit longer. Now it does manage to get all the way down into my pocket. Um, it bottoms out on the clip and it can fit all the way down on my pocket with no problem. So that's something to point out. But I wanted to compare it to a couple other things. Here is um, here's a Prometheus Alpha Pen. Now you could tell right there just by comparing it with the pen that it's much bigger than an actual pen light would be. Much bigger around, much longer. Uh, I believe these weigh just over 2 ounces, 2.7, maybe close to 3 ounces. Uh, so it's not too terribly heavy to carry, uh, but it is kind of a, a bulkier package. It would actually make uh, a decent Kubaton, you know, if you're into carrying a Kubaton around. If, uh, it'd probably be fine as is, but if it, if it had a crenulated bezel or if they put one out with a crenulated bezel, it would work really fairly well for that. You could uh, actuate the button and strike with it all, in the, all at the same time if you had to. Um, but this makes it very travel friendly, travel safe, uh, without getting caught up by TSA. Uh, I think I've covered most of the high points of this light. Um, oh, and I don't think many of the, and I may be wrong here, many of the smaller pen lights at a lower price point have a strobe feature, but I could be wrong on that. So and don't beat me up in the comments if I'm wrong there. Um, and, I, and I'm sure that most of them don't have all these other features, you know, an SOS mode or beacon mode. Really, really cool light here. I'm really happy that it, you know it comes with you know that it uses those lithium batteries. And that might be a, a minus to some, but uh, I really like being able to get the high output um, and decent decent life for what I'm using it for um, out of this this light itself. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit better idea, especially with the size. Of course, you can always get the stats online. You don't need me for the stats, but. Uh, just to kind of use it as a size comparison to, um, you know, some of the other pen lights. Uh, I think I said it's just about three ounces and it's just about six inches long. So that's what she said. <laughs> Gives you kind of a good idea what it looks like. Anyway, guys, I won't ramble on anymore here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you want to know more about this light, again, I know that you can get them from Monkey Edge. I think you can also get them direct from, uh, from
from Tough Rider, and you might be able to get them direct from 4.7s, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully it'll be uh, not as long before I'm back again with more uh, gear and gun and knife overviews. See ya.